What's up guys, Matthew here from Profit Farmers. Hope you're all doing really well. We are, as you know, your crypto copy trading co-pilot. Today I wanna to talk to you about how to be a profitable trader long-term and also how much money it's really possible to earn from trading. So first up again, look, as you can see, I am buzzing and glowing a little bit. Uh, if you could see the studio behind me, we painted every bloody wall green, um, but for some reason, my software is just still giving me a pain in the neck. Um, so yeah, forgive, uh, forgive my buzzy glow and the sort of glitchiness. But let me start by asking you guys a question. Um, did you know that it's actually easy to double your account size even if you are losing more than half of your trades? Sounds kind of crazy, right? But it's a pretty common misunderstanding amongst newer traders at least uh, that you need to be winning all of your trades or lots of your trades when it's just quite simply not true. Um, there's a bit of a formula to it, um, but before that, screw the Lambos, screw the watches, let's get real for a while and let's think about a few things. Number one, sustainability. Number two, lifestyle. And number three, that would be your health. So today I'm going to walk you through how you can achieve those things with nothing but your brain, a few free calculators, and of course your trading skills. Now, trade automations are going to really help you with those three things I mentioned, but you can get most of the way there without them. So let's start with a few basics. Um, let's talk about risk management to begin with. Now, if you browse over to our website or punch into Google Profit Farmers Risk Management, um, you'll come across this blog, one that we've mentioned before for sure. Um, what you're going to find on this blog is a bit of an explanation of how you should be managing your trades. So the golden rule, as you can see here, is that you should only really be risking between two and 5% of your account size. Okay. So for example, in choppy, uncertain markets, uh, where maybe you're getting different indicators, uh, giving you a different kind of vibe, or you've got mixed messages on higher time frames and lower time frames. Maybe that's where you want to stick to your 2% risk. On the other hand, maybe you're going to punch it up to 5% when you're doubling down on a strategy that you know is pure gold, or the market is trending nicely, or you've got enough confluence where you know that this is the moment to kind of take a big shot. So. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go with 5% so that we have some nice simple round numbers. Um, so let's talk about that. So what does it mean to risk 5% on your trades? Well, noobs or beginner traders typically misunderstand this and they think that what it means is that they should be, let's say you have a, an account size of $10,000. Now. With $10,000, 5% of that would have obviously be $500. Um, but that is not really how it works. And you can probably see playing behind me here a sort of calculator that's going through the actual ways that you do this. Um, I'm just going to talk you through an example, not the same as that calculator. Um, but let's start again with the, the example of $10,000 account size. Your max risk per trade is 5% of your account size. Now that would be, as I said, $500. So if we take an example of, let's say a $1,000 entry, um, a $980 uh, stop loss, then your risk is the $20 difference, okay? And if you take your $20 difference and divide that into the $1,000 entry price, you can see that that's a 2% drop okay so your stop is two percent down now if you take your risk of five hundred dollars that you're allowed to go with divide that by your stop loss or your loss percentage of two percent you're going to find that you come up with a calculation of twenty five thousand dollars so that's actually how much money you could pray, uh, place on that trade on that example i just went through without exceeding your risk profile okay so that's as simple as that. Take a look at the calculator again, go through this page, it's nice and simple. So a 5% risk, as I say, doesn't mean you put $500 on each trade with your $10,000 account. It really depends trade for trade, okay? 
So there are plenty of position size calculators out there that you can use to figure this out. Um, if you again go down here, you can download one of ours, which uh, basically looks like this. In here, you can see that you just have to fill in a few blanks and it will spit the answers out. So for example, we're going to enter our $10,000 balance in this green box. You've got your risk percentage here. For our example, we were just talking about 5%, not 2%. And then over here, let's say you're trading Bitcoin. Maybe right now you're thinking, okay, I want to buy some more at 40,000, but I want my stop loss to be at 39,000. Um, the calculator is going to spit out here that you're risking $1,000 for every coin you've bought. So you are in this, on this particular trade, you're allowed to buy half a Bitcoin or spend $20,000 on this particular trade. And when you hit your stop loss, as you can see over here, you're going to lose $500. It's that simple, okay? So have a play around with this calculator and basically become nice and familiar with it. Okay, so now we're moving on to part two of one of the keys or the keys that it takes to become sustainable, uh, like kind of long-term profitable, maintaining a decent lifestyle and your health. Okay, so part number two, is risk to reward profiling okay if risk management teaches you how to lose with grace then risk reward teaches you how to trade and profit with ruthless efficiency so risk reward is kind of easy also to understand it's a measure of how much you're going to win on a trade versus how much you might lose okay so if you've not heard of rr um, you're doing something wrong. If you've not heard of risk reward, you're doing something wrong. So let's take a look. Um, let's see. Okay, so this particular trade uh, was one that we shared with everybody for free not that long ago, Alpine USDT. Um, if we push, pull this one up on the charts here, you can see that I've gone ahead and drawn a bunch of stuff on. Wowzers, I am uh, buzzing and disappearing. Sorry about that again. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so as you can see with Alpine here, um, we can use the long and short tool to tell us what our risk reward is. Um, so if I just zoom in a little bit over here to start with, when we put this signal out a few days ago, whenever it was, nearly nine days ago, something like that, um, this, was our, this was our suggested entry zone, this particular box, which worked out absolutely beautifully. Um, our stop loss suggested, as you saw on, on here, um, these, these are the numbers basically. So all I've done is taken the entry zone from here, the targets and the stop loss, and draw them out onto the chart and just labeled them for you. So this was our entry zone, this was our stop loss. And if you use the measurement tool, you can pretty much see that from the middle of the entry down to stop loss, it was around a 7% risk, let's say. And if we measure up to target one from around the middle of the box, that would have been around here, it was roughly a 30% gain. Okay, so that's all I've done is drawn that onto the chart so you can see that. Now, if ever you're kind of trying to figure out your risk to reward, you don't need to sit there measuring everything. You can jump over to the long or short position tool, which is what these are. And you just place it onto your chart wherever your entry is. Uh, move the stop to wherever your stop might be and then you can pull this up towards your targets whether you're aiming for target one down here or target two up here or target three you can start measuring out your risk to reward um, to think about how you want to play this particular trade or whether this trade fits your risk reward profile okay so as you can see for us here on this particular setup that we shared you your risk to reward up to target one from your entry zone was roughly four to one, which is really nice. Now, if we were going for target two, it was nearly 10 to one, and target three was 20 to one. So this gives you an idea, hopefully at least, of just how you can use TradingView to quickly measure things up. One more pro tip that I'm just gonna give you is that actually you can jump into the settings of this tool and in these inputs you can add your account size of say 10,000 and you can say that your risk is 5% and it's going to grab your entry price 
um, and your stop loss price. And then in the box just here, this, this right here, it tells you how much you can risk on your trade. So it does your position sizing for you. So have a play around with that and you'll be able to see yeah, what, what, what they think you should be doing, as it were, in terms of how much you are willing to risk on your trade. Um, these would all obviously all be the same because the stop loss value for all of these is near enough the same. So if I go ahead in here and say I want the $10,000 with a 5% risk, once again you'll see that it's saying you could risk around $2,000 on this particular trade um, with the risk profile we've been talking about. Okay. So what does, this, uh, what does this mean for you guys that are using the platform or thinking of using the platform? Well, basically, it's not a bad idea to, uh, when you receive a new signal, open up the charts, just have a look at things, draw things out and think about what your risk to reward profile is. Think about whether you want to be moving your stop loss. Um, some of the trade, not all of the trades are set up like this. this. This particular trade has amazing risk to reward at all levels, all of them. Um, some of them though are going to be closer to sort of one and a half to one, some are two to one, three to one, this kind of thing. Um, but part of the reason some of the trades have that lower RR is because the default stop loss is beneath the lowest part of the entry zone. Now. If we think for a moment, I'm just going to jump over to our results area um, and pull that up for you guys, bear with me. Okay, so let's think for a moment. Um, if we look at the results for all of 2021 and scroll down to here, we can see how many of our trades are reaching which of our targets. Um, let's pass up on that for now. What's more, more interesting for the moment is that's <laughs> not there. That's unfortunate. Um, well, let me jump over. Oh, sorry, I'm being an idiot. You see, sometimes you get so deep into your own business and your own company, you, you lose track of absolutely everything. <laughs> right. This is what I'm looking for, the average entry depth. So this is a measure of all the completed trades that we had last year. How far down into our suggested entry zone did the coin price come? So as you can see, on average, it was nearly, nearly the middle of the entry zone, just a little bit higher. Um, if I were to skip over to more recent months, such as February, um, you're going to see that it's been a little bit higher at times. Let's just let this load up. There we go. Around 37%. Okay, so the point I'm trying to make, if I jump back over to Alpine, if I were to draw up a new pretend entry zone for a new signal, let's say we were, we were aiming to buy again right now, we would expect that for a trade that is going to be able to continue its life cycle all the way through, it's going to do something like this. Now, if your original stop loss is down here, well, that's not it's not necessary that you leave it there. Um, it's quite fine and a very good strategy, to be honest. A lot of us do this and a lot of other members do is to actually set the default stop loss further up because we could safely assume for some of the strategies at least that if we get too deep into the entry zone, um, we would rather jump out because we're going to assume that that trade is not going to go on to become a winning signal based on the averages and the data that we have in the past. Now, if you think about what's happening here, if I just pull up a position tool here, if your original stop loss was down here, and let's say target one was up here where this arrow is, as the, the trade is set up right now on the screen, your risk is something like 2.6 uh, or 1 to 2.6. If I move my stop loss up here and sort of play the odds that as we know them, uh, we can start saying, okay, this is now an 8, eight to 1 risk or reward to risk. Um, so that's all I really wanted to point out. Just think about your overall risk to reward profile. Um, it's not as simple as I'm making it here. Of course, stop losses are important. You have to think about where to place these in terms of support. You have to think about how market makers 
behave and of course you know any of these kind of lows everyone has put their stop loss here right now it's you know it's just a very obvious place that market makers might want to come down to to hunt liquidity so i'm not saying you should just budge budge your stop loss up every time but i'm just pointing out that guys there is a reason that the forms and the trade forms are fully customizable um it's for this exactly okay so hopefully guys now you've got your head around position size management and your kind of ultimate risk value of two to five percent you've understood how you can use these tools now to help you position size and you've understood how to use these tools to measure your risk reward all right now final boss in terms of figuring out how to run your trading long term and be profitable and as i say we're focusing on sustainability lifestyle and health all right so the final boss is that you need to add your win rate into the mix now i cannot tell you what your win rate is um, it's going to depend of course on your skill your experience how reliable the strategy is that you're following at Profit Farmers, we, as, as i just shown you, we regularly are hitting um, sort of 70 or 80% win rate up to target one. If we look at these final hit spread percentages, if you look year by year, month by month, typically we're also getting to target two um, just around half of the time, uh, maybe a little more than half of the time, some months a little bit less. It, you know, it's a little bit random, depends on the market. It's not really entirely up to us now that's for completed trades um, traders are always going to have some trades that they close early um, that's a pain in the ass there's not much we can do about that um, if you aren't happy with coming out of trades early honestly again you're doing something wrong for sure um, when we close trades early it's typically a break-even situation or a very small win or small loss so you can factor these in to your overall entry strategy and how aggressive you are. Um, for the sake of this video and for the maths that we're gonna go through, if you want to be very cautious, the best thing to simply do is treat your close early trades as something like a quarter of a loss or a half of a loss, something like that. Um, We've seen that as a percentage, close earlies are, are quite minor, actually. And if you look at a lot of them, a lot of them actually end up being profitable for an awful lot of users, particularly those guys that are laddering in. Because if you ladder in, usually we're closing early somewhere in the middle of the zone or maybe a little bit higher. Okay, occasionally it's the lower end. But as I say, overall, I think it's fair to say these are typically break even. However, if you want to be cautious, no problem with that, no problem at all. Just treat them as a part loss, a portion of a loss. And I'll come on in a moment to explaining what the hell that would mean, um, how something could be half a loss and why you would do that. Okay, so your win rate down to you. As I say, you have to look at your trading results yourself. Um, it's a little bit easier for people using our platform because all of the results are already here. Um, the signals, as you guys know, the ones that don't close early, uh, you've got all the data you need. Um, and we have some other articles, um, if I flip down here, how to use these trading statistics results um, that we updated uh, and have given you some kind of hand, hand holding really of like how on earth should you be using this data to come up with scenarios of how you're going to play your trades so i'd suggest you guys have a read through this where we just explain everything to do with our breakdowns um, and talk a little bit about close early and everything else so yeah check that one out as well i think that's a really helpful um, article all right nearly lost myself there for a moment um, Moving on then, I would like to show you guys a calculator that one of my team came across recently and this is, I've uh, got to give a shout out to these guys, uh, I think their name is Colon Capital, should we call them Cochlan Capital, whatever, but guys whoever made this at your end, uh, thanks very much for that, this, this is quite a fun trade return, what they call trade return calculator and to summarize what they're saying here, 
basically we can start plugging in the metrics that we've just been discussing in terms of uh, win rates, risk reward profile, your typical risk, and obviously your account size. And this calculator will spit out 100 um, randomized trade results based on what you're plugging in. Okay, so bear with me a sec. I'm just gonna have a swig of water because I'm getting cotton mouth. Boom. Okay, so what we're gonna do is plug in some metrics. I'm gonna show you how this calculator works and then you guys can run off and uh, obviously play around with it completely on your own and do what you like. So let's start with something a bit wacky. Um, for all of these, we're gonna say that we have a 10%, sorry, $10,000 balance, a 5% risk. And we can then sort of play around with the win rates. I think it's probably easiest. What I'm gonna do is just leave in a risk reward of one to two. So the concept being that we're looking for trades here where our reward will be roughly double our risk. Um, as I say, when you come to doing your own trading, uh, you may, as I just shown you with Alp the Alpine trade, just flicking back to this, maybe it's going to be four to one, can be 10 to one. You might get some that are one and a half to one. Depends again how you set up your exact trade. But I want to be nice and let's say fair, cautious, whatever. And I'm just going to plug in a two to one risk reward. Now, rolling back to the beginning of this video, I asked you guys, hey, have you realized or have you noticed that actually you don't need to win? You can lose more trades than you win and still be profitable. And here's some proof of that. Now, I'm going to hit calculate on here and what it's going to do is spit out a profile of 100 random trades uh, based on somebody that wins only 40% of the time and has this kind of setup. If we scroll down the page, this is all of the trades exactly as they happened. Um, anything that is in a uh, not in a bracket is a positive, is a win. Anything in a bracket is showing you how much money was lost and you can see the balance here. So in this randomized situation, uh, this particular trader, let's say, um, was, uh, let's say, hitting resistance and going sideways for a while until he had a massive breakout. But you can kind of see that here. So first trade, um, he's risked his $500 as we were talking about, but his reward was two times his $500. He's made $1,000, his balance is now 11,000 and that then rolls on he does another trade using his five percent risk of his new total balance so he's compounding here or she i should say he or she or whatever pronoun madness we're doing these days uh anyway don't let me get sidetracked into clown world or we'll be here for another hour um but as you can see just going down the list uh this is just 100 random trades and the graph shows you kind of in a, in a more easy to understand visual way what on earth happened with this guy's balance the ending story, as you can see, this particular trader over 100 trades more than doubled his uh, original account size. So there you go. As I showed you at the beginning of this video, it is you. It is very, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's very much possible to more than double your account size, even if you're not winning enough of your trades. What it comes down to is being selective and understanding a strategy and then sticking to it. Just stick to the plan. And I'm going to come back to that in a moment. So let's do a, another one just for fun. Let's say that actually you're a slightly better trader than that guy and you're winning half of your trades. Okay. So remember when I was talking about your win rate, um, going back to break even trades and cl uh, like scratch trades, draw trades, whatever you want to call them. Um, you can count some of those as losses. So if your win rate uh, on completed trades is 80%, 70%, let's say, feel free to knock off some percentages here and there and say that, well, actually, I feel like I lost 1% here on this trade, maybe five times. So that is now an extra loss. I'm going to take that away from my percentage. Um, go ahead and do that. But again, I'm trying to be sensible here. Let's go with a 50% win rate this time. And again, just two to one risk reward. Let's go. So what are we gonna get here? Okay, so this guy uh, has gone crazy <laughs> and has had a hell of a ride. 
and from his $10,000 account balance, he's now up to $162,000, having made 1,500% gains. That's it. That's crypto, guys. This is how you do see occasionally people on Twitter, Reddit. Um, some of them I believe, some of them I obviously don't because it's obvious nonsense. But some, you know, there are good traders out there. I mean, uh, for sure, like, let's get real. People can make serious money with this, and there you go. Um, what's happened with this one? This guy has just had a good lucky streak and just crushed it, it looks like. That's all I can say. Let's run that one again and see if we can get a more sensible number coming out. Okay, we're not allowed sensible numbers. These, these traders in this tool are crushing it. Let's keep going. Okay, this looks a bit more reasonable here, I would say. Um, in this case, someone's taking their $10,000 over 100 trades and turned it into nearly $80,000. Okay, and again, this is a 5% risk profile. Risk reward of two to one and a 50% win rate. Let's run it again, see if we find any low numbers, see if we can find an unlucky roll of the dice in here, just to give you an idea. I have a feeling the, the lower, there we go. Okay, the graph is broken, but again, kind of 6xing the account there. So, interesting stuff, right? Um, moving on, let's do one more, and let's say you can push your win rate up to 60%. Um, you're probably gonna see some also wild numbers coming out here. Um, so there you go, making 94, uh, sorry, $943,000. What on earth is going on? Wowzers. Um, try one more. Okay, and you get the point. The, these kind of, uh, you know, if you were able to do this in a short space of time, uh, we'd all be billionaires, right? Um, of course, some of us have to sleep, some of us have other, have other jobs. The market isn't always going to present you with 100 perfect trade setups all in a row. So look, um, you know, I appreciate some of this looks somewhat exciting. It is. Trading is exciting. You can make ridiculous money, honestly. Um, but let's get real and say, okay, you, you're not always going to get your perfect setup nonstop. Um, anyone that's been with Profit Farmers for the last few years knows that you, we have moments of like complete madness. All of the strategies are popping off. Hundreds of signals are showing up. We've sometimes had four or 500 signals just in one month. And when you look at this kind of profiling here of 100 trades quadrupling or 10xing your account, you can see why we are a popular platform. On the other hand, you can suddenly have a week or a month even where nothing happens and there are no trades that are good enough for us at least. You guys can sort of poke around and maybe sh make some shots, lose a bit of money most likely in the chop. But for us, we kind of wait. Uh, we wait until the trades pop up that we're happy with. So anyway, guys, look, I'm going to shut up about all of that for a moment. Um, I just thought this calculates a... Very interesting. Um, one particular note I want to point out is that you will smooth out the madness of these results. If I keep clicking calculate, you're gonna see wild swings uh, in, in some of these percentages sometimes. If I keep going. I mean, from 2000 up to 5000, and then in some other settings when I've run this, it's been like negative 100 and other stuff. So the reason for that is that uh, running a typical risk of say 5% on, on an account size does leave you a little bit more susceptible to short-term variance or what in other words luck. So going back to this kind of um, table here, if you start out with seven losses, um, that's going to really cripple your account and make it much slower for you to build back up and get that compounded momentum. So generally, we don't suggest that you risk 5% all the time. Um, our guides would suggest 2%, but like being realistic as a trader in crypto, uh, there's, yeah, it's, it's very likely at some point you're going to want to risk more because sometimes you just know that a big move is coming and the charts are telling you that. We also have some strategies that are almost bulletproof and in the past have had win rates of nearly 90%, um, but they show up rarely. But when they do, we go all in, man. Not all in, you know, we're sensible, but all in in the context of risk management. So 
Yeah, smooth this out by turning this down to two or three percent, and then you'll find that you get results that are more, um, you, you get a more sort of sane average instead of like one big, one small, one over here, over here. But again, just play around with it. So anyway, guys, I think that's it. Um, I hope that you guys have found this really useful. Um, to wrap things up, risk management stops you from blowing up your account, which gives you the sustainability that we were talking about. Um, you need to be able to profit long term because the market will whip you around and it will make you feel like a complete idiot half the time or more than half the time for some people, maybe a bit less than half the time for other people. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. It also improves your health because you can stop freaking out, right? About every single market move. You can relax, you can, you can stop stressing and you can get some sleep because you know that a loss is just part of the game. It's part of the plan, it's part of the show. You're supposed to lose your trades. You're just not supposed to lose 10% of your account on one trade. So stop doing that, okay? <laughs> And obviously, guys, we talked about lifestyle. I'm not a lifestyle coach. Um, I enjoy my life and I, I think I have a fun lifestyle, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to say that, look, if you do figure out how you can be long-term profitable by using risk management, by using your risk reward profiling and figuring out your win rates, well, that is going to give you the freedom to have the lifestyle you want. And it's as simple as that. I know some of you guys want fast cars and maybe even faster women or guys, you know, whatever you're into. Uh, but some of us just want spare time. Some of us want to be able to hang around with friends at the beach and, you know, just do other things in our life, chase other passions, maybe be charitable, go plant some trees, you know, go dig around in the earth instead of digging around in the laptops and in the charts, you know. So whatever it is, it is all possible with the right method and with the right strategy applied to your trading game. Um, I think it is as simple as that. And guys, just gonna leave this in the background because give me one moment to plug the last part of the, I don't know what you'd call it, but the key to being long-term, happy, healthy, sustainable trading. Bonus round, let's say automations. Okay, I didn't go through automations because I want this video to be more educational for you guys to go off and learn and do whatever you want. But the truth is that automations can push your sustainability, your health and your lifestyle to all time highs in terms of how you trade and live your life. So one moment to just plug shamelessly the platform that we've put our hearts and souls into. Obviously with our system, you have the ability to copy trade um, any of the signals that are arriving. Um, let me just show you that quickly now. So in here, we've got some amazing features that everybody loves. One of those is laddering mode, which means that you can ladder into the suggested buy zone without picking an individual price. That makes it much easier to quickly jump into a trade if you're under pressure. It makes it easier to dodge the paralysis of analysis or the analysis paralysis i should probably say um, so laddering mode is great you get to buy in at five areas and you can edit these change the percentages do whatever you want it's all up to you aside from that we've also got the break even stop loss so the natural stop loss is placed here again you can edit that if you turn break even stop loss on you then get the option of it being up one step behind or two or just up to entry what that basically means, if I take this example, if your natural stop loss was here, uh, an entry is there, when target one is hit, whilst you're asleep or away from the charts, your stop loss will move up to your average entry price. So it means it locks in those profits. So if the market crashes, you no longer have a winning trade turn into a loser. And I cannot tell you how fucking annoying it is when that happens. I'm sure you've all suffered from that. The break even stop loss can prevent that. When the target move, uh, when target two is hit, you go from entry up to target one. When target three gets hit, your stop loss moves up to where target two was. So you can see that with uh, trending coins that are pumping hard, this is perfect because you just get to lock in your profits. If you go two steps behind, 
When we got to target three, for example, it would be two steps back. It would be down here at target one. That gives the price action more chance to chop around like this kind of action and you don't get knocked out of your trade. So again, you can choose that option when it makes uh, when it makes sense, depending on the strategy and what you're expecting from the coin, depending on what type of resistance is above. Um, Alpine was a new listing. Uh, we've been amazing at hitting these new listings recently, tons of them, uh, all getting crazy results. Not necessarily 150%, but a lot of 30, 40, 50, 60, 70%. Those kind of coins just go up because this is pump and dump nonsense. Those are the ones where go would break even just the entry or to uh, one step behind uh, up to you really, depending on how you want to play it because we're expecting just it to go boom. Um, if it doesn't go boom, we get out. So last, uh, last sort of mode that I'll talk about, um, you can't see it here, but it's called Trade Guardian. Obviously when a trade closes early, our system highlights that there's a notification made um, but you might be asleep, right? You might be at work, maybe you're with friends, uh, maybe you're like getting drunk. I don't know, whatever you do with your time. Um, the point being that we need to have a life as traders, otherwise we go absolutely insane. We start making mistakes, we rush trades, we force price action to fit our strategy and that just doesn't make any sense. Um, so how do we get around that? Well, we can, with a flip of a switch, turn on Trade Guardian and that will exit your trades automatically if you're happy to go along with what the systems are suggesting. So if you want to be fully optimized, turn that off whilst you've got control of the charts because um, some of the time you can exit a slightly better price than we would have getting out at. But because with the nature of price action, things typically do give you a small relief rally after there's been that liquidity dip and so on and so on. Um, can't explain all of that, but the point is uh, we have features here that effectively make trading way faster. Um, you need less experience, less time. You can actually sleep. You can have a separate life. And going back to these calculators, these are all based on 100 random trades, right? Well, if we go have a look at our results, you can see that we are pumping out signals. Um, hopefully this loads. But we are pumping out in some cases maybe 100 signals a month. Sometimes there's only 40, 50. Depends. This has all been the wartime stuff, the crash of the markets. But if we go back before this, you can easily see we're pushing out up to 100. If I go back in time, you're going to see some crazy numbers of 300. Here we go, 300, 400 signals at times. It depends on the markets. It depends on which strategies and algorithms are going to fire up. It might sound strange, but we are just nothing like any other trading group or platform that you'll have come across. We don't have a bunch of minions in the back shop or in the basement beavering away making charts. That's just not how it works. So I think what I'm just trying to point out is that no matter what is going on in the world, we are genuinely pumping out good opportunities and we're pumping out enough of them that this kind of situation that we're talking about here is not unrealistic at all. You just have to have a longer time preference. You need to look ahead. Don't sign up and trade for one month and expect a Lamborghini. You know, at least put in three months, six months, a year, and then you're gonna get there. And that's the truth of it. I, I can't say it enough. The Lamborghini thing and the fast watches and the girls, it is a psyop. They are there to make you lose your money. It's as simple as that. If you slow down and treat this with respect, you will do well, okay? So yeah, that was my shameless plug. I hope you don't mind. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this platform or trading at least is all about sticking to a plan. That's why I put my heart and soul into building this with the rest of the team. It's to help you stick to a plan, keep you within a strategy, keep you confined in your space and remove your lizard brain and your lemming brain and put it over there, you know, so your trading can just do what trading's meant to do. So last thing to say, right now, you can still get access to Profit Farmers. Um, we've had a very popular, let me just head over to the pricing page. We've had a very popular deal running for a long time where 
Um, because we want you guys to learn the platform and learn trading, we've been heavily discounting a three month plan for quite some time to build up uh, you know, a base of people that appreciate and actually understand how to use the platform. They understand that trading is long term. They understand that markets swing around, especially in crypto. Um, and that plan has been overwhelmingly popular, partly because the cost of this is obviously one third the price of paying monthly. Sorry, you save a third, but it also renews every three months at this discounted rate. So for 599, you're getting three months of access and it will renew at that rate as long as you keep uh, your subscription up and don't cancel. So I want to give you an early heads up, guys, that we're actually changing our pricing model soon. Um, we're going to be launching some different levels of access and this plan will not exist anymore and it will be more expensive. Um, I'm not a liar, I'm not that type of person, so genuine heads up. If you're interested, I'd suggest you jump on that plan. Um, you're allowed to cancel at any time anyway, so if you want to put trading to sleep for a while, um, you can cancel and that's it. We don't charge any other fees, it's just a flat fee for access. Um, so what I think we'll do is Beneath this video, I'll ask the team to add a link to um, a page that explains more about that particular offer and all about our features. And I'm also gonna add a link to a written version of this information I've just gone through. I'll, I'll just turn this into a short blog so that you guys can, in your own time, kind of digest all of this risk management and risk profiling stuff. And that was it. So guys, I hope, again, this has been really helpful. Um, Genuinely, we're all interested in here in helping people become long-term, happy, sustainable, healthy, profitable traders. And again, it isn't, it doesn't have to be more complicated than I've just gone through. The main number one issue that people have is that they are just not realistic and they are super emotional, completely crazy emotional sometimes. I get it, I've done it. That's why I wanted to build a platform like this because I understand. <laughs> So I'll always forgive anyone that you know blows a gasket and sort of gets a bit mad when they lose a trade or something. Um, but you just need to set a plan, guys. Set a plan, stick to a plan, 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 plan. And then just ride out all the ups and downs and just become aware of the market. Use our market updates to know when to go heavy and when to go light, okay? So that's it. Once again, I'll put more information down below. Don't miss out on the three month deal that we've had running. It's been massively popular for a reason. And once again, it is going up. This is not some ridiculous uh, money grab. The pricing will go up. Okay. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to see you again. Ciao.